Hi, my name is Mark, and today I want to provide you with some simple bag caddy tips. Through these tips, I'm going to make the bag caddy the most used product you have in your garage. My first tip is, when I'm tailgating and transporting the bag caddy from one destination to another, I put some newspaper and a 30-gallon bag in the center of the bag caddy. That way, when I arrive at my destination, I have everything together. My second tip has to do with setting the bag caddy up. When it's cold outside and you unhook the bag caddy, it has a tendency to be a little bit stiff. So when you set it up, it doesn't always take a perfect cylinder shape initially. When I'm uh, camping or tailgating, I use the second slip position, which is perfect for a 30 gallon trash bag. So I'll set the bag caddy up, and because it's warm today, it takes a very nice shape. But if it's cold, you may have to lay it flat for a couple minutes to let the plastic relax and then set it up, and it'll take a really good shape. Now, as I mentioned, when I'm tailgating, I use a 30-gallon bag. And it's important that you use the four locking tabs that are evenly spaced along the top to lock the bag in place. So when you drop the bag in the middle and you hang it over the edge, from the inside, push the tabs out, tuck the bag under, and then lock the bag in place. So I push the tab out, I tuck the bag under, and I push that tab back in, and that locks the bag in place. I'll do it with all four tabs. The best way to find those tabs is from the inside. Just feel around and you'll get them. Now once I got the bag locked in place, I take newspaper. And this is just simple newspaper. You can take regular paper if you like. And I put it in the bottom of the bag. Now I do this for two reasons. The first reason is just simple. It helps absorb excess liquids. The second reason is it, it, it prevents little puncture holes that can create little puddles around your tailgating area. You don't want those, they're a nuisance. My next tip has to do with those days when it's windy outside. When you first set the bag caddy up, the product is very lightweight, and if it's windy and there's nothing inside of it, it can get blown around. So, I go to a, a store and get a regular camping stake. And the bag caddy is designed with some anchor tabs at the bottom of the bag caddy. They're on each side towards the bottom below the handles. All you do is just take an uh, over-the-counter stake and you drive it in the side. What this does is anchor the bag caddy so if it's windy, it doesn't get blown away. That's real simple. The nice thing about the bag caddy is when it's locked open, all you do is toss your trash in. And that's as simple as it gets. I used to use this bag and it didn't catch very well. But the bag caddy, you never miss. Now, when I'm using the bag in the yard, the bag caddy in the yard, I use larger bags. I use 30 when I'm camping or tailgating or picnicking. And I use 33, 39, or 42 gallon bags when I'm working in the yard. This particular bag is a 42 gallon bag. It's much taller than the bag cap. So what I do is I drop the bag in the middle and I just hang the top of the bag over the bag cap. Like this. And then I take the top of the bag and tuck it in and lock it in place. And it just so happens on the 42 pound bags, the flaps fit perfect on the locking tabs. So I lock those bag cat, or the tabs in place by pushing them back in. And now the bag is locked in place. Now I have a riding lawnmower with two very large hoppers. So let me give you a tip real quick about dumping the grass clippings in the bag cat. First of all, I dump a load in, and then I take my hand and I swirl the grass clippings around. Now what that did was actually shape the bag caddy. This is almost like a flat tire, if you will. When there's no air in the tire, it's oblong. But as soon as you put air in it, it inflates up and it becomes stronger. That's the same concept with the bag caddy. It actually becomes stronger as you put things in it. This simple tip of swirling on 
leveling the grass clippings out actually makes the bag caddy stronger. Now, when I filled the bag caddy to the top while it's on the ground, as I mentioned, there's still room in the bag. Now, there are two handles on each side of the bag caddy. All you do is feel for those handles and you just lift the bag caddy up, okay? Now, what has happened here, I'm letting the grass clipping settle in the bottom. So I've actually got more room at the top. It has stayed open. So now I have more room to duck my grass clippings and it stays open. So I can play with it, swirl, lift it up. You see how it stays locked in place? And add the rest of the uh, grass clippings. Now, as you can see, next to this dinosaur, I can get more grass clippings with this 42-gallon bag in the bag caddy, and it's very much, it's very light compared to this thing. My next tip is after the bag is full, all you do is reverse the locking mechanisms. You unhook it like this. So from the inside, push the tabs out and unhook the bag. Now instead of having to tug a full bag out of a container like you would do with that, you just lift the bag caddy over the top. Watch how simple this is. Didn't hurt my back. It's so simple. Plastic on plastic slides over the top. Now all you have to do is tie your bag off. And then call your strong neighbor to uh, take it to the uh, curb. Now, my last tip has to do with rolling the bag caddy up. Let me go over here and I'll show this to you. When you're finished and you're ready to go, whether you're camping or whether you want to store it back in the, in the uh, garage, all you do is unhook the bag caddy, you push the handle through. You see that? I didn't bend the tabs, I just pushed the handle through. If you lay the bag caddy on the ground, it's much easier to roll up. So I, I'll show you this method. You go to the slit side, and you start rolling it back into a cylinder. And the key is, make a tight cylinder. Don't let it get away from you and get uh, too large. Just continue to roll it on the ground. Now, when you get to the handle end, don't hook the handle end. There is a slit right here that's designed to merge with the slit on the cylinder. You let those two merge, and a rebound effect takes place and the bag caddies roll back up and you have your handle free. Now you can put it back in the trunk of your car, the back of your SUV, you can store it on a shelf in the garage. In closing, these are simple, very common sense tips that I guarantee if you use them, you go out and play with your bag caddy, you're really going to enjoy this product. It is the most versatile product on the market today. If you've got a bag, and you ever use it in the yard, or camping, or in the garden, then you need a bag cat. Remember, every bag needs a cat. Thanks a lot.